Okay, hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to look at routing in SvelteKit. So you can see in the docs here, uh, there's got a routing page. So we're gonna look at just the basic routing and then also having a param in your routes like this. Okay, but don't look here, look at my video right now. So first thing is that SvelteKit is folder-based. So the routing is based on the folder structure. Um, and that's just it. You need um, a folder about to create some kind of route. So this is just the root layer. So here we have nothing. And our page.svelte is picked up for our root route here at the top. But then if we want to create something like about slash about, then you make a folder called about and you put a page.svelte file in there. So now this is the about file. Boop, cool. And then to nest, so if you want slash about slash team, you would just make another folder inside of about. So it might kind of look weird at first, but you basically just need to look at your folders to kind of see um, where you're at and what the overall routing structure looks like. But it is a lot of page dots felts, so that will take some getting used to. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward um, how to do that. But then let's say you want a dynamic route. So maybe in team, you want to have a name. So then you would create another one and this could be anything. So I would put name, for example, or uh, maybe employee to be more specific. And then there also we'd have a page.svelte, but this time we're gonna also need a plus page.ts. Um, and in there we're gonna have a load function export async function load and for now we just need params out of there so to get the value of this so if I put about slash team slash prashant then we want that to, so it is picking it up right now but it's uh, blank bonk that works too uh, so we want to actually get the name that the user put in so here in params, we can get um, employee equals params dot employee. So it'll be there, and then we return the data employee like this. Um, so then it becomes available, that data there, here in our script tag export let data so then we can say hello to data dot employee okay sorry this was supposed to be data dot data dot employee and then you should be able to get the name so here if we put Moses hello to Moses okay cool so that is the basics of routing now bye